And today, many who live in those areas that are no longer under a mandatory evacuation moved back in. I caught up with some residents who say they've never been so happy to be home. I've seen what flood waters can do, so I was just pack up and move out. Like many evacuees, Anthony Lohman left his house and many of his belongings, unsure of what would be there when he returned. I see the roads are open, so I was like, it's time to go home. Today, Greenville Mayor Alan Thomas announced all areas south of the Tar River between First and Willow Streets are open. I feel real lucky. Lucky because the Tar River never reached many properties in the mandatory evacuation zone. He was saying we moved all our stuff out for no reason, but better safe than sorry. You know, it's better to move it all out and not have anything damaged. Now the process of moving back in begins for many. Uh, chairs are upstairs. We're starting back up in a couple of days, so getting the couches in and getting the stuff that we can move ourselves. Bringing back valuables and essentials is the first step for some. I was excited finally. I can come back to my own place. I wasn't having to sleep on people's couches anymore. As more areas are deemed safe, more people will be able to come home. Loman says he's glad his home was left undamaged, but says that's just one of many blessings. I'm thankful that it didn't get this far, it didn't get to my house, and I still have everything, but life is more important than things. And for a full list of areas no longer under a mandatory evacuation zone in Greenville, visit our website, WNCT.com.